I think you can tell what the show is from from the name, Desperate Housewives. I don't think anyone before had sort of put those two, uh, those two and things together. It's like um, they don't they're not they don't go together. You think it's going to be you know desperate burglars and boring housewives, but the fact that Mark married those two things is is indicative of what he what he did and. You know, it was the voice that was particular in Desperate Housewives. It was Mark's voice. And he has an ability to create and hold up the icon of the quintessential, the the almost character-like character, character -like, um, American suburban life, hold it up, make fun of it, and yet doing it in a loving way that doesn't tear it apart. I mean, it was certainly a soap opera. It was certainly a little bit of a cartoon, but it was also kind of wonderful and heartfelt. And and, and he did a great thing of, I think, all the, the female characters, the leads. I mean, first of all, he put women in their 40s, except for Eva Longoria, who is like 15. He put women in their 40s as leads. And you go, oh my God, women in their 40s, they're viable, they're sexy, they're interesting, people love them. And... And he made it funny and he made it heartfelt. And also they were sort of iconic, almost mythical parts of the female psyche. You know, there's, there's Hestia, you know, of the hearth. I would, you know, there's the mother figure, there's the huntress, there's the, and, and they kind of go into our, our psyche as those archetypal female roles. Um, and I just thought it was brilliant of him. Was, and God, he worked hard. No one worked harder. In the pilot, Mark, because he'd never had a, he was never run a show before, Mark was retiring and he was, he gave it off to a, a producer named Michael Edelstein and the director, Charles. And um, then as it got going, and I think Mark realized, wait, this is my voice that makes this work. This is my, what's funny about me. This is my point of view. I mean, he tells the story about, you know, his mother gave him the idea for Desperate Housewives. So I think he became more in charge until by the end he was, it was all Mark. And um, yeah, he, he, he is collaborative. He has a very strong view of what he likes. He knows exactly the rhythm of the kind of jokes he wants to take. I don't tend on, I rarely go and talk to the writers. I don't think it's my job. And also I just, I'm not an idea person. <laughs> I don't come up with a lot of ideas, but like, I know Terry went to talk to them quite a bit. Um, and so he would. Um, I There was something, I think, in the first season or the second season where my character's on a, um, on a soccer field. And it's after the character's been taking Ritalin to try and sort of keep up with being a mother and try and keep up with her kids. And she has a breakdown and she's surrounded by her friends. And she talks about, I feel like a bad mother and I feel like my kids would be better off without me. And that all came from me. I was like, this is what it feels like for me to be a mom. I feel sorry for my kids to have me as a mother. So he certainly took that. Mm -hmm. um, I certainly didn't give him any um, comedy ideas. <laughs> Mark's the funniest.